In the left corner, weighing 300 pounds and standing at 3 foot 4, it's the beast from the east! It's Trunda! And her opponent tonight, weighing in at 200 pounds and standing an impressive 6 foot 2, it's the most hated champion of all Raid Shadow Legends! It's Constantine, the underdog, Dayborn! And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's Trunda versus Constantine. Let's get ready to rumble! Hey guys, and welcome to another Rage of the Legends video with me, The Real Deal. Um, yeah, so, first off, I just gotta say, I hope that has gotta be the best intro I've ever done. I hope you guys agree. I had so much fun making it. Real, real good, uh, real good times. Um, but anyway, let's get into the reason why we're really here. So, two weeks ago, I pulled Trunda. Um, she is a massive, massive pull for anyone's account. She is a great champion. Um, and I wanted to, I've been dying to do a guide on her, but I thought rather than, you know, do your run of the mill sort of standard walkthrough, I thought let's mix it up a little bit and do Trunda versus Constantine because they're quite similar champions. And also, Constantine gets so much hate. I thought, actually, he's a decent champion. Let's showcase him as well. You know, you buy one, you get one free. So... Um, Trunda, let's have a look at her first. Oh, no, whoa, 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 Yeah, so, um, what I'm gonna do is, you know, I'm really gonna put them through their paces. We're gonna hop in Dragon, we're gonna go into Arena, sort of test their numbers and see who is really punching and who's not. And then I'm gonna, you know, give you my opinion and who I think is the top dog out of these two. So, Trunda, let's have a look at her reviews first. So, Arena, excellent. Campaign, yeah, I, I think you can actually use her as a campaign nightmare, nightmare campaign farmer, but I'm not really interested in that. Um, you, you can see she's doing loads of great stuff, but personally, I think the two places she really shines is Arena and Hydra. And Hydra, um, she's great for Hydra because she, naturally she's a very tanky champion, so she's quite easy to keep alive. But her A2, if, if there's a, decap a decapitated head and you do your A2, she will probably drop two or three of the other heads. It's absolutely amazing and it really will help with Hydra. So amazing, amazing champion. So let's see what she's up against. I know what's coming. So this is Constantine and his reviews, they're not as good. Um, I think people drink a lot of Hater Gade when he came out. So 3.4 for arena offense, definitely not the case. We'll be looking at that in a moment. Campaign, yep, I definitely wouldn't use him as a campaign farmer because he's only got um, only his A2 does AoE damage. Um, arena defense is low as well. Yeah, I wouldn't use him for arena defense, but offense he is absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, you could use him in dragon and stuff, but I think he's the main, you know, and to be fair, I've tested him in Hydra and he's not great for Hydra. He's not going to do the same sort of stuff as like a Royal Guard or even Trunda. But arena, which is an area that I really care about in the game, offense, he is amazing. Really underrated. So what's what's happened here is when he was released, he was released as a part of a duo. Um, so he pairs up with Vlad. So when Vlad was released, I think everyone was expecting to be this really cool. Um, he's like a vampire champion. So everyone was expecting to like you know be stealing people's life and turn me a bit like uh, what I was expecting personally. He was something like Michelle. Unfortunately, he just came and he just was a bit flat. Um, he's very one dimensional he doesn't really do that much um he's not very special for a void legendary and yeah i mean what personally i just feel that he should be a bit more like vlad um so he should be more like michul or they should have done he should be able to strip buffs like madame and be like a stronger version of madame with the decreased defense and block active skills um but yeah and their passive is a bit bland as well so i think when that basically when constantine was released with vlad People are really upset, and that's why he's, you know, people have bashed him into the ground and, you know, not rated him well at all. So let's have a look at their gear and masteries. So, uh, Trunda, uh, I've got a lethal and a broken set. Oh, wait. So, of course, it's crit damage gloves, uh, attack percentage chest, speed boots, which I would like to be. Um, attack percentage, but I just don't have the gear. You would need um, subspats, subspats, substats of speed on all your gear to sort of reach that level. Then we've got attack banner, uh, crit damage, 
necklace and then attack ring and I haven't managed to glyph up all this I'm, I'm running low on glyphs so total stats 40k HP 5.5k uh, attack uh, 210 speed 102 crit rate and then 264 crit damage and accuracy you want to be as low as possible so she gets those double hits so let's have a look at her skills passive not really interested in it for arena but um her a3 hits really hard so i usually open with the a3 and it attacks to enemies and if it doesn't place a stun um you'll get basically another turn so it'll hit twice and um, if you do land the stun then you have a chance of placing hp burn as well so no you will place hp burn as well and actually sometimes this does land on um their nuka which can be useful so say you come across um skull crown you'll drop her really low she'll put unkillable on herself but then she'll get stunned so she doesn't get a chance to actually retaliate and wipe your team so it can actually be useful a2 attacks one enemy then attacks all other enemies with a second hit dealing 60 percent of the damage inflicted from the first hit so that was usually what you follow up so it's really good that she's got two aoe bitties that hit really hard so basically you'll drop their team the reviver may stay alive and then you'll finish the team off with that second hit and as i said earlier that a2 is so good for hydra so if you do have a trunda and um, there's a decapitated head do the a2 and just watch and it will just drop all the other heads absolutely amazing and then her a1 just hits really hard and has a chance to play stun so masteries um just resistance going into decreases damage by 10 if she's got any um debuffs on her resurgence really powerful skill to have uh removes debuffs from this champion if they lose 25 percent of their max hp so for example that can remove bombs stuns sleeps freezes all kinds of things this is just helping to reduce da uh, damage and then we're going into counter attacks so just to have more chance of getting counter attacks on the enemy so crit rate um if they got shields on we're going to do more damage increases damage with our first hit then cycle violence um you can take opportunist but for that you really need like a prince kaimor or someone that's going to throw stuns or sleeps on the enemy i mean astralon is another example you could use um but yeah if you don't have those champions then definitely take si si sorry cycle violence instead uh crit damage leading into more damage into more damage then kill streak and then helm smasher so this is sort of a very standard um mastery that i would use and actually i've got the same masteries for constantine so let's have a look at constantine the most hated champion of all raid shadow legends um yeah so he's got like a sort of game of thrones uh, vibe going on i love his uh cape really cool looking and that sword of fire love it love it love it love it so he's in a cruel and savage set same same um setup as trunda and would love these boots to be attack percentage but they are speed unfortunately like i said it's the best i can do on my account so total stats 30k hp so 10 less k than trunda so he's got less survivability um he's got 500 less attack than trunda at 5000 but he does have a cruel and savage set so he's got maybe a little bit of advantage in that way speed 207 crit rate 105 and then crit damage 239 and then low accuracy as well accuracy doesn't hurt for him to have it it's perfectly fine and it does actually work off his um a3 because he can still bust from the target and transfer all debuffs from him to the target so very cool very cool ability to have so just want to talk about his passive no no actually we'll go for all his abilities and then we'll look at his passive because his passive is it's just been buffed and it is absolutely boss so A2 attacks all enemies two times. Each hit will ignore 10% for each target. De uh, de de sorry, ignore 10% of the target's defense for every leech, decrease defense, and block active skills they are under. So that's why he pairs up with Vlad. However, you don't really need this because this ability hits so hard. You don't actually need decreased defense anyway. But I mean, it's a nice to have. I mean, if you've got Madame, great to pair them up together. Um, and this ability is actually really good for like someone like a Rotos. So where Rotos, um, you know, you can take two hits, this will definitely kill him. And then A1 um, attacks one enemy, places an extra hit, 
if the target is under any debuffs. This ability also smacks super hard. And then we've got the same masteries as uh, Trunda. So passive. Enemies from the Undead Horde, Demon Spawn and Night Reverence. Kill by his champion cannot be revived. So he's now got block revive on all his abilities. That is super strong. So strong. Um, and all enemies killed by his champion cannot be revived when he pairs up with Vlad. So um, let's just have a look at Undead Horde, Demon Spawn and Night Reverence because they are some really strong champions in those factions. In fact, these factions have the strongest champions probably for Arena. So we've got Prince Kaimar, Countess Lix, Kandrafon, um, Duchess, Witha. I mean, those... Those are very strong champions. So if you can keep them down, they're not getting back up. Uh, they got Magna. Who else would really be decent? No, just those ones. Um, and then <laughs> we got Rotos, Sifi, Necred, um, Michelle, Bad L. Yeah, so really strong champions there. And like I said, oh, and Vogoth as well. And you could use him to counter Vogoth with Rotos because you got that single hitter where you, if you put a debuff on Rotos, single hit them twice, it will definitely kill him and he's not getting revived. Um, yeah, so, so strong, so strong. And then Night Reverence. Um, who we got? So we got Hegemon, Solus, Tomb Lord, and Kavalax. Miscreated Monster, Rector Draft, um, Skull Crown, Sunisha. So yeah, some really strong champions in those factions. And yeah, like I said, if he kills them, they're staying down. So yeah, absolutely amazing buff. So let's uh, now let's uh, do some tests in the dungeons and see who is pushing those numbers. Okay, so we're gonna um, test out Trunda first in Dragon 20. And you know, you know what they say, ladies first. So drop that defense, put out some weaken. Uh, yeah, whatever, throw out some poisons. Okay, so A3 first from Trunda. What numbers we get in? That was like two lots of 70, so like 140k across the board. Not bad, not bad at all. A2, what are we saying? 90k, 220k, whoa, insane. All right, let's, uh, let's get onto the boss and see what we're doing there. Okay, A1 on Horden. Oh! 100k not bad let me jot this down so a3 so sort of 140k again okay a2 135 a1 sort of 80k not bad not bad at all cool and look at trunda go 2.5 million damage on dragon that that is insane all right, so let's see what uh, Constantine can do. So I've got a very sneaky suspicion that Constantine's not going to do as well and um, just because he doesn't have the same sort of uh, survivability as Trunda. So we'll start off with the A2. Okay, that was like sort of 90k across the board, I'd say. I guess to be fair, we've got to remember that he's not got those sort of lockout abilities and stuff. But um, A3... Ooh, 158 it is a lot of damage but you know it's not aoe so trunda does have that advantage over him so i just tested uh constantine and unfortunately he died so he doesn't have the same sort of um survivability as trunda so i had to bring in blind seer to keep him alive just so i can sort of show you his all of his abilities in one go so a2 what we're we saying all sort of 120k so not as hard as trunda so I'm just going to quickly jot that down. So A3. Oh, 172k. Okay. Okay, okay. And then his A1 does actually hit harder. But we'll see what that is in a moment. Okay, so A1. Oh, 160k. Nice. Okay, let's do Constantine versus the Dragon. So A2. 80k. A3. 115 and a1 ooh, uh, 120k 
Okay, so not as much damage as Trundra either. 2.3 million. So bit of a, just not, not as strong. And also had to bring in Blind Seer to actually help keep him alive. So that is a bit of a shame. Okay, so I'm just going to bring up the little scoreboard that I've done. So Trunda, um A1 didn't hit as hard as Constantine's um, by quite a bit. However, her A2, there was like a 100k difference in it on the waves and a 60k difference on the boss. And then A3, um, well, hers is an AoE, so she, technically she's actually doing way more damage. Um, and she did more damage on the boss as well with A3. So I definitely think that round has to go to Trunda. Uh, has, um, do you know, just, I just want to try it on like a harder stage just to see um, if Constantine may be better there. All right, so we're in stage 25. Uh, Constantine should have a slight advantage as it is force affinity. So let's, uh, and I'm gonna let them fight side by side this time. So let's just provoke them all. So Trunda coming in first with the A3. Ooh, sort of, I would say sort of 30 to 70K there. Constantine. Oh, same sort of damage actually, sort of like 60 to 70. Okay, so A2. Sort of 60 to 100k there, nice. And, okay, so we've got the A3. 128 <laughs> and block revive. Love it. Okay, almost back to Trunda. A1. Oh, a weak hit, so sort of 20k. So I'm guessing sort of it can be range anywhere from 8k to 40k and then Constantine's A1 or 90k okay we're on the dragon let's uh let's see what's happening so A3 two weak hits so sort of 17k there A2 or 90k solid bit of damage there Okay, Trunda A2. Oh, 100k, nice. 114 on the A3 for uh, Constantine. A1 for Trunda. Two weak hits, 8k. Oh, and still, he's still pumping big numbers. That was, like, I think, 110k there on his A1. So, yeah, interesting, very interesting. So, I will do, like, a, a price comparison. A damage comparison in a second okay so looking at the overall numbers so trunda was sort of 8k to 40k versus 90k um 60k to 100k to 60 to 70 and then 30k to 70k to 128k so constantine overall is doing more damage and on the boss he was definitely hitting harder and getting no weak hits so i would say constantine is better um for dragons 25 um to be fair, both of them at this level, their survivability isn't as strong. So even Trunda can drop. So I definitely say I would give this to Constantine as he is more consistent and he's still doing big numbers where Trunda, surprisingly actually, she can hit still really hard, but she's still getting some weak hits there. So she's not as consistent. Um, you can see he's done like 1.6 million more damage. However, it wasn't really a fair fight because you know I was sort of stopping it and also Trunda dropped first and then Constantine died. You know, if I had a, like a reviver in there, it'd been more of a fair fight. But I would say definitely Constantine is better for 25. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's do some arena and uh, see who's really putting in work. So ladies first. So we're gonna let Trunda step up to the plate. Um, so seriously strong team here. We've got Duchess, Sifi, Rotos, one of the most deadly combos in the game and Rio. So that is a pretty serious team. So um, basically, we're just going to make sure we go first. Then we're going to drop uh, their defense and strep any buffs with Madame. And then we're going to nuke nuke them with Trunda. Okay, so we're boosting up. We're getting ready. We're stripping those buffs, throwing out uh, de drop defense. Play it nice and slow. All right, Trunda, show me what you got. Oh, full house. Yes, she is the real deal. All right, 
Let's have a look at Constantine. This is another strong team, probably actually stronger than the last one just faced, um, with Wither, Mountain King, uh, Archbishop, and uh, Duchess. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring Yoshi in for extra speed, but also that accuracy uh, to really make sure that Madame does strip because they've got that resistance aura. And I'm sure it's probably going to be a higher resistance team as well. So we're playing in slow-mo. Boost in, getting that turn meter, nice, managed to land fear. Okay, everyone's stripped and ready for Constantine to get to work. So, is he as trash as everyone thinks? Oh, okay, so he, you know, if, um, you know, if he reactioned in proc right there, he would have put them all to rest, so... Big man is putting in work. He is better than what people think. So let's just speed it up a little bit. And nice. Yep. Yeah. Oh, freaking hell. And swift parry as well. All right. Hopefully she's going to get feared. Okay. No. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that was, yeah. As you can see, Constantine, he smacks. He's not. He's not, what was it, like, two for Arena. He's a five. He is definitely a five. This team right here is definitely one that Nightmares are made of. Necred, Double Rotos, and Seafy. I don't think it gets much stronger than that. So we're going to bring in Constantine, because obviously he can put them to sleep, and when they're dead, they stay dead. Um, Madame to just weaken them, strip buffs, and Shaman to um, basically cleanse that sleep from Seafy. So hopefully... We'll win this one. Like, I mean, yeah, like I said, strong, strong team comp right there. Okay, block debuffs. We're stripping. Calm Constantine. Oh, wow. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to win this one. Um, I'll be honest, it's really... Actually, let's leave. So... Constantine definitely just slammed that team so hard. But let's let's quit and bring in Trunda and see if she can do the same. I really don't think she can, but let's see. So we've just seen Constantine just drop this team so easily. And now it's time for uh, Trunda to see, sh you know, show who's top dog. So let's see. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Okay. I'm I'm stunned. I'm absolutely shocked. Um I didn't think she was going to be able to do as well as uh, as Constantine. I guess that's why everyone loves her. Um I had no idea she you know like I said I've only I've only just got her recently. I had no idea she was this strong. Damn. Damn. Okay, another tanky team Lydia, Sifi, Tatura and Iron Brago. Um, whoa, I feel like we need, need something else. Um, how can we get more damage? Bring in Lydia. Bring in Lydia. Okay, so bringing in Trunder up against another tanky team. Got Brogni, got Chris, you got Lydia, you got Rotos, who's got great survive ability. Um, um, Trunder and Constantine actually both counter him because they both double hit. So yeah, let's uh, boost that turn meter. Let's increase that accuracy. Then we're going to strip those buffs. And then Trunda, time to put in some work. Come on. Are you worthy of that legendary status? Yes, you are. Okay, so that reaction propped right there. But otherwise, that would have been a full house. As you can see, Trunda, what can you say? She is godlike. That is why she is so wanted. And one of the best champions, or sorry, one of the best snookers in the game. So really tricky team. Lydia, Duchess, Mountain King, Valkyrie. Um, so how we're going to try and counter it is I brought in Umbral to just lock him out while Constantine does his does his job basically. Boost that turn meter. Provoke them. Beautiful. Got them all. Okay, strip those buffs. Drop that defense. And then Constantine. 
So, as I said before, most hated champion of all Raid Shadow Legends. Prove them wrong! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and then we'll just finish off Man and King. And as you can see, you know, I know I've been saying this, but Constantine, he is a great champion. He hits so hard. Not quite as hard as Trunda, but not far off either. Oh my god. What an idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> oh, see, I, that's, you gotta remember, whenever you go against a Lydia, gotta pay attention and make sure you don't revive because you will get caught off guard. Uh, it doesn't matter, we are gonna win this one anyway. But, yeah. Oh, she can be annoying, that Lydia. But, yeah. So, yeah. As you can see, Constantine, he hits hard. Like, simple as. You can't deny the fact that he is a good nuker. Well, not even a good nuker. He is top tier. He is a top tier nuker. And he deserves a lot more respect than what he's getting right now. So, I hope I've managed to change a few people's minds out there. All right, come on, Constantine. Oh. All right, Arbiter finishing the job. Yes, another strong team, 280k power. And yeah, Constantine doing work. He is doing work. Okay, so I know this is a Constantine versus Trunda video, but do you know what? They actually pair up really well together as well. Um, so a team like this, you can see they're super tanky. And uh, the best way to beat slow tanky high resist team is a double nuka comp. So we're going to pair them up together. Oh, we've block revived on Vogoff. And then hopefully um, Trunda is going to finish them off for us. Come on. Yes. So a little bit of trouble here. It's a shame it wasn't uh, Constantine who survived. But it's all right. Yep. All right. So we managed to fear them. We could not revive because of um, Lydia, which is really annoying. She's such a great defense champion, but Khan Trunda. Oh my god. Swift Parry. Swift Parry? Swift Perry. No, Swift Parry is the bane of my life. Alright, so we're coming in again. And we're definitely gonna kill uh Duchess this time. Plop. I'm just hoping. Uh, okay, he did get a turn. That's a bit annoying. And this is a loss. What a great showcase this is. Okay. Quite quite funny, guys. So I thought it was going to be a loss, but we managed to get a win. Um, yeah, Arbiter and Madame. I didn't know this. Are actually better than Constantine and Trunda. They are the real nukers in this team comp. Okay, so that was a bit of a trash one. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do another showcase because that was uh, just shocking. Okay, so we're going to try the double nuke comp again. Um, so this is another slow tanky team. We've got Krisk, who's going to have um, shields. Then we've got Mortu, um, who's going to be, you know, have a ton of HP. Usaga, who's going to be reducing all that AoE damage. And Rektar, if she cuts in, Perfect Veil is going to reduce damage and do healing and she'll revive. So let's go for it. Let's see what happens. All right, come on. Come in clutch for me. Oh my god. Okay, we didn't even need Trunda. See, it's so much hatred on Constantine. As, and as you can see, he absolutely... He is a machine. He is a beast. He just dropped their whole team. And Trunda's going to finish it off. Of course he's in Swift Parry. Um, but it's okay. Arb's there to finish the job. So yeah, as I was saying, double nuke comp. It, it works, and as you can see, they pair up so nicely together. Trying to finish them off, and Constantine doing the work at the beginning. Okay, guys, so now getting towards the end of the video, time for my conclusion. Um, yeah, so Trunda versus Constantine. So being British, naturally, I love an underdog, and I really want to turn around and say, yeah, Constantine, you know, he's a hidden gem. He is better than Trunda. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Don't get me wrong, he is a really good champion, really strong. Um, he does hit really hard, and these reviews are not fair at all. Um, you know, arena offense, I'd definitely give him a five. Um, Dragon, five. Faction Wars, five. 
Um, Hydra, no, I wouldn't really use in there. And the other things, you know, not really interested in those. But yeah, he is a really strong champion. He really is underrated. However, Trunda, hands down, beats him in every aspect of what we've gone through. Dungeons, Trunda is definitely in harder and putting in more work. Um, Hydra, you know, you can't put Constantine in Hydra and Trunda can and she can really drop heads and do damage. And just having this like extra 10k HP and my Trunda could definitely, I could definitely squeeze more into this build. And I, you know, I've got some friends, there's like Trunda naturally just sits at 50k with this sort of damage. And having that extra survivability just means that, you know, she can be used in um, Hydra and also on like arena offense and defense you know having that survivability does mean that she can just keep pumping out damage and get away with things where constantine can drop very easily um you know also you know she's got two aoe abilities where he's only got one um definitely feel that she is better on arena offense and defense um constantine you can't really use him in defense because he's too squishy um however you could pair up with say like a Necred and a Valkyrie and then insult, uh, insert fourth champion. And the good thing about that is he could actually catch people off with his passive because obviously Undead Horde, Demon Spawn, Knight Reverence, they are very popular champions. They have so many S tier champions in, in their clusters. Uh, and yeah, so he could actually catch people off, off guard, which is good. However, I would definitely probably choose Trunda every day over Constantine. Which is a, it's a real shame, really, because um, he is a Void Legendary, and I'd just love for him to be just that little bit stronger and more valuable than Trunda. Um, however, also as you saw in the video, they do pair up really nicely together as like double AOE nukers. Um, you know, so if you come up against any slow, uh, tanky teams, double nukers, they will pair up really nicely together and get work done for you. So. That is the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching um i hope you've enjoyed it please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll see you in my next video peace